Hello and welcome to another shot on DSLR.com tutorial. Uh, today we're going to learn how to sync your uh, secondary audio to your video, which is shot on your DSLR. So I'm actually using a Canon 7D, uh, and we have our our lovely um, person here, Dan. Dan is uh, an attractive man. <sighs> Moving on. Um, we are going to sync our audio so it sounds all good like this. Please remember to subscribe to our videos and check us out on shotondslr.com. Now, if you've never used uh, secondary audio, um, when I say secondary audio, I mean audio recorded on a external recorder, and it could be uh, straight into a computer, or it could be into a, a little handheld recorder. Maybe you have a Zoom H4n. So basically, you do that so that your sound sounds better. Okay, um, you don't want your movie sounding like um, like you recorded it from 20 miles away because it will be hard to hear. So this is the same thing with our on-camera audio. Please remember to subscribe to our videos and check us out on shotondslr.com. It's actually not bad um, because you can hear it, but uh, as you notice, there's kind of this weird um, reverby thing. Subscribe to our videos and check us out on shotondslr.com. And the reverb thing comes from uh, recording from pretty much across the room. There's all sorts of uh, bouncy sound reflections and technical soundy terms. Anyway, so it doesn't sound as good like this. On shotondslr.com. Big difference there, right? So I'm going to show you how to sync your external audio with your footage from your DSLR. So I'm going to open a new sequence here and call it Sinky McGee because as long as you can add a McGee to something it actually makes it more fun so it's good good to know if you take one thing away from this tutorial take that okay so here we have our amazing person Dan here and he has his hands together that's because he is clapping because we need a slate. Um, anytime you record uh, secondary audio, you're going to want to uh, have a slate of some sort. So this is a slate, and basically uh, all this is is just uh, some information on what's being shot. And this is a really good thing to have um, because you can just look at your video and figure out what, what the clip is, uh, when you shot it, where it is, what take it is. Really good visual reference. But it also has this part right here, which is the, the clap part. Um, this is also called a clapboard because basically you just take this piece of wood and you slam it there and it makes a, you know, a type of sound and, um, which is great. Um, unless you're like me and you can't keep track of a clapboard and you put it in your bag and you take it along on a shoot and then you're like, Oh, where's the bag? And you find the bag, but you didn't put it in the clapboard and then you realize it's in the back seat, uh, but it's in the other car. And anyway, so what we do a lot is uh, just clap because it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so here we have Dan and he's gonna clap, which is great. Our audio. Okay. So the reason we clap, let's uh, take it the take a look at the waveform here. This is um, our audio from this clip. This is our on camera audio. Okay, and you see right here and right here. These are both claps. Uh, claps have a unique shape in a waveform. So let's look. So I can just tell you right now that this is a clap. Yes. Um, but we had two takes on this, so we actually clapped twice. And I'm going to use the second clap. Okay. So that's a really easy way to find a clap, especially if you have a really long um, piece of footage and you're like, oh my goodness, where's the clap? Why is it two minutes and 48 seconds and 20 frames in instead of at the beginning? Just look for this. The reason we use a slate or a clap is because the waveform not only shows up in our footage, but it also shows up in our audio, which is recorded on our recorder, is a good sentence. So um, we're going to use the secondary clap on each one. Play through, make sure it's a clap, and I'm going to hit the left and right keys, and I'm going to look at my audio meters here. because. You see how this is a big spike? That means it's really loud. And so basically these little meters are going to go whoosh up here. And so when it goes whoosh, that's where the clap is. So let's just go over. There it is right there. So that's the peak of our clap. And I'm going to hit the end point. And then 
on our audio, I'm gonna do the same thing. And so let's set this over here. There it is, I hit the end point. Okay, so now both our video and our audio have the end point right at the uh, peak of that clap. But look at our video. Dan's hands are not quite together yet. And that is because the audio on the 7D is actually a little bit ahead of the video. And so what we do is we find that peak. So I'm gonna find that peak again. There's the peak. And I'm gonna move one frame to the right, just like that, okay? And so now, if we look at it, his hands are together. We're actually recording this with a uh, a shotgun mic, which is <laughs> which is plugged into our uh, Tascam recorder here. This is an awesome recorder, by the way. Depending on how you recorded your audio, uh, it can either be one frame or sometimes it's even two frames um, later that you want to set your endpoint on your video. And so I'm going to go with one frame because I know that's kind of how how our setup works. And so I'm going to drag this down into here and I'm gonna match the clip settings. And so here we go. Please remember to subscribe to our videos and check us out on shotondslr.com. Great, now I'm gonna take our audio, which I've already set the endpoint at the peak, and I'm gonna leave that right at the peak, actually. Just right there. And I'm going to go to the beginning, and set my target track, and put it down there. And so right now, this audio should be synced. Please remember to subscribe to our videos and check us out on shotondslr.com. And if the audio isn't synced, you'll know because check this out. Remember to subscribe to our videos and check us out on shotondslr.com. It's like you're in a third dimension, which you are, but the audio's off. Stupid. Okay. So those are uh, synced and I'm just gonna disable the camera's audio and what I'm gonna do is just select that and hit control B. That is doing the same thing as hitting clip enable. That's the same as control B. And the reason I do that is because I don't wanna mute these uh, first two tracks because I might wanna put other stuff that I actually wanna hear on the tracks and also it, it gets rid of rendered files and all these annoying things and believe me, it's just better to uh, disable the track instead of muting. So let's listen. Remember to subscribe to our videos and check us out on shotondslr.com. Great. Dan, you're the best, man. So, dslr.com. That looks good, and we have perfectly synced audio. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, uh, just comment on the video, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shot on DSLR, and to check out more tutorials as well as uh, articles and videos and freebies and all sorts of goodness, go to shotondslr.com.